Now, CBS 2 News brings you the top stories covering the corridor. The Centers for Disease, Contro Con Disease Control and Prevention took a step forward this afternoon in the fight against childhood food allergies. They have issued the first ever national guidelines to help schools help families dealing with the problem. CBS 2's Sadie Hughes joins us now to take a look at the advice they're giving. Sadie. Scott and Tiffany, it is a big issue. By 2006, the CDC reported that 88% of schools had one or more students with a food allergy. Now, the most common are to peanuts, then milk, and shellfish. Some students even need to carry an epinephrine or EpiPen with them to prevent a life-threatening allergic reaction. In the new guidelines, the CDC suggests that schools identify students with food allergies and make a plan to prevent exposure and manage reactions if they occur. Now, that could include Include training teachers how to use medicines like EpiPens. But while preventative measures can help, 25% of children experience their first allergic reaction at school without a prior diagnosis. But one local allergist says that's not as common here. I do think that the schools in this area have done a great job uh, having people do uh, food allergy action plans so that they have uh, medicines on, on hand to treat reactions. They have a plan of action as to how they will, how and when they will give those medications. Also, the Cedar Rapids School District doesn't serve peanuts and food at all. Now, we've reached out to several local school districts, some of whom say they are just starting to sift through the guidelines to figure out how it can assist their district in fighting food allergies. In the studio, Sadie Hughes, CBS 2 News.